Are you stuck with your literature review? Have you been taking weeks, months to do your literature review and it's really time consuming to read the text, to find the right text, to organize everything? Maybe you've got, you know, hundreds of different texts and you're trying to write your literature review and you can't find the right information in all these annotated PDFs that you've got flying around on your computer. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you an AI tool that can really help you to speed up the literature review process and really cut it down from months to as little as just a few weeks or even less if you do it properly. And this tool, and it's not ChatGPT by the way, this tool was designed by researchers for research and it can help you to do numerous things such as give you the right keywords to use to search your database. It can help you to understand the text better. It can help you to summarize entire texts for you, entire PDFs. It can help you to organize your PDFs and tags to them. And everything is searchable, your notes, the PDFs that you add to it. You can hook it up with Zotero or Mendeley or any other referencing software that you're using. And the list of the things that it can do for you when it comes to a literature review, it's just endless. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's see what Avid Note can do for you as a researcher or a PhD student. So I'm gonna show you how you can really, really speed up doing the literature review and using Avid Notes. And this is going to work really well if, whether you're doing a literature review for your PhD thesis or whether um, you're writing a systematic review, a scoping review, a meta-analysis, anything really to do with um, literature review, okay? And so the first thing that you're gonna have to do is go to avidnotes.com and sign up for the free plan. Uh, there's a link right below this video that you can also use to take you straight to um, Avid Note. Now, um, I've already um, created an account, so I'm just going to um, take you to the inside um, of Avid Notes straight away. Um, and I think, you know, the, the first thing that you really want to do that I would recommend is to first to create a project, okay? So imagine you're working on multiple research papers or multiple research projects. Well, you want to keep yourself organized from the very beginning and just create um, a new project in here and give it a name. Now, once you've created it, um, you can also share it with other people. So if you're working with um, co-authors, uh, your supervisor, whoever that is, um, you can share the project with them. So they'll be able to collaborate with you, you know, for example, in the entire literature review, taking notes, um, searching, all that kind of good stuff. Okay. And then there are two things that you can do. So uh, you can upload documents um, in here to the project or um, just upload PDFs um, like this right um, in general I've already got a lot of PDFs uploaded or you can also get it to communicate with the existing uh, referencing software that you have so if you've been using Zotero or Mendeley uh, you can also export your library from Zotero and upload it um, to here once you've done all that let's just um, open a, a paper in here and then we can start taking uh, taking a look really at you know how to use uh, Avid note for your literature review. So one thing that I'd really recommend is that you tag things, okay? And um, so you've got your project, and within that project, think about you know topics and subtopics that you can uh, that you can be tagging your research with. And this will be really useful when, for example, you know in a couple of months you're trying to find a specific paper on a specific topic, but you can't find it. So you'll be able to search by tags in here. So Think about, again, you know, main topics, any subtopics, and start using tags uh, to tag the different papers. I mean, first thing first, you know, you can do a lot of different annotations in here. Um, you know, they're the same as in many other PDF readers, but, you know, you can draw things, highlight things, and erase stuff. You can, you can sign the text. You know, you can add images, links, right? You can add sticky notes. Right, and uh, you can also, you know, call out a certain part of the text. So there's a lot of annotating features um, that you can use. And I should mention that everything is searchable in here. Uh, so not just the text, but also your notes. So then um, it will really speed things up for you because, it, again, you know, let's imagine you have a hundred texts and you're writing your uh, your literature review and you're really looking for this specific piece of information and you can't find it anywhere. Right, so you'll be able to search, you know, your entire library as well uh, to find it, which I think is really, really useful. Um, so you can also start adding notes as well on the text as you're as you're reading it, right? And they will appear here, and they will be searchable as well, which I think is really, really useful. 
And of course, you've got um, your editor as well, uh, so that you can start actually writing a text as you're reading um, a paper. You don't have to have like two windows open, which I think is really, really useful because you can just be reading stuff and then quickly taking some notes um, in here, which of course you can then copy and paste to Word if you want to, but I think it's really neat that you can do it side by side. But the, re the real game changer here is the way they've um, integrated AI to this, right? So maybe you're familiar with ChatGPT. So again, it's like another tool. So you, you're reading your text, and then you want to look something up, and then you go to another tool, which is ChatGPT. Now, in here, everything is in one place. And they've already given you like the most useful questions or prompts that, that you can give. Um, you know, and it's been designed by researchers for researchers. So it's just so much better than ChatGPT, which hasn't really been designed for research, right? Um, so first things first, right? You're just starting out your literature review. You can get um, keywords, right, for your literature review search. So what you could do is describe your research in detail um, in here, right? Uh, or maybe you've already written a little bit of a text. You can paste it here. Or you can just paste, you know, a little bit from a text that you're currently reading to get suggestions for you should be what you should be looking for. So I'm just going to take, you know, take a text from um, here, okay, um, and then click send, and then it's going to give me um, the keywords, right? And the cool thing is that you're not just getting the keywords; you're also getting search queries. Right. So if you've ever been using a search database, you know that you know you can use more than one keyword, and you know you can use the word "end" for example, that it will just give you um, the papers with both keywords, not just one, but both. Right. So this is this is really really useful. And again, you know, don't just take it and, and run with it. You know, um, use it as a starting point. Right. Because, of course, these aren't perfect. They can be better, right? And you know your research best, so you'll have to tweak it. But, you know, it took me five seconds to generate those keywords rather than five hours, which, again, speeds up your time. And now imagine you just take another half an hour to refine those keywords and refine those searches, right? And this is really, really going to help at the beginning with the literature review. Now, you found a text, and, you know, you're going to start reading it, right? And... What can happen is that you know you're reading something, but you don't understand exactly what it means, right? And this this can happen. I mean, scientific text can be can be very dense, right? So what what you can actually get Avid Notes to do is if you paste the text, it's going to give you an explanation of what it what it basically means. It will give you a glossary of the most common terms as well, uh, with an explanation which I think is awesome, right? So it first provides an explanation in here, and then you've got a glossary of terms. Like, what do these different terms mean? And again, you know, please don't just copy and paste it and put it in your thesis or anything like it. I'm sure you wouldn't, but just, you know, saying it again. But it, you know, it helps you to understand text, right? And before, what did you have to do? You had to, like, go to Google, try to find it, or find another paper that describes the same term and try to understand it, right? Which is really, really time consuming. In here, you know, it literally took 10 seconds and we've got an explanation of a specific part of the text that was very difficult for us to understand before, right? You can also ask it for opposite views, right? So obviously in your literature review, you need to be critical and you need to identify any potential uh, sort of disagreements in the literature, which could lead you to a really nice research guide. So again, you could paste the text in here and get Avid Note to suggest an, an opposite point of view um, for you. Right? And there's a couple of alternatives that Avid Notes suggest. Right? So you've got them all here. I'm not going to read them to you. But again, you know, this, is, this is an awesome starting point. Because imagine you're reading a text you know, and you're thinking, OK, well, what are some other points of view? Do all researchers agree with this? Or maybe there are some, you know, some disagreements. So you can put in a part of text and then get answers to that. So I think, I think this is really, really cool as well. Um, for your literature review, right? You can also get a critique of a, of a text, right? So one thing that you'll have to do in your literature review is to, of course, be critical and create a coherent critical argument. So you can put in a text um, into um, Avid Notes. It gives you kind of a, like a summary, but an analysis of that specific 
passage. So it gives you a good starting point for you to start thinking more critically and more in depth at the text. And and this is you know a really important thing if you want to do a very good literature review. Now a text can also be summarized, and this is particularly useful. Um, you know, if you have a long text, so I'm just going to paste, you know, several paragraphs. Um, so this whole first section of the of the literature review, uh, and I'm going to give it to Avid Notes, okay? And I'm going to ask it to summarize uh, the text. Um, so this is particularly handy, you know, if you're, for example, if you wanted to use a longer passage of a text in your own text and you're not sure how to summarize it, if you wanted to, if you're reading a very long text and again. You know, maybe you're a little bit lost, you're unsure what exactly is the main message. Well, again, you can use Avid Notes uh, to give you a summary, okay? So look how um, long this text is, right? And then look at the summary. And if we read the summary, it's actually pretty, pretty um, accurate. So that's another awesome feature here of um, Avid Notes. It can also help you to proofread something. So this is more useful if you're writing your own text and you're not sure about the grammar, um, your language and so on, and um, Avid Notes can help you to proofread it um, as well. And it can also be translated. So, like you know, um, let's say you want it, you know, you're reading this, and you know, you feel like reading it in a in another language, in your first language. It might not have, you know, it won't have all languages, um, but that can um, also be a useful feature. All right? And then there you go. You know, um, if you're a Spanish speaker, you can probably read this and uh, see if it's accurate or not. Um, but, you know, it, it doesn't show me here how I can change the language. It just translated it into Spanish. I don't know if other languages will be available soon or not. But if you are a Spanish speaker, I think this is, this is pretty awesome. It really, you know, reading something in your first language might also help you to better understand that text. Okay. Um, when you're doing the literature review, you will also have to paraphrase um, a lot, right? So you can ask um, Avid Notes to rewrite the text uh, for you. Right. So again, we've got the same text here and we'll, we're asking Avid Notes to rewrite it for us. Right. I normally wouldn't be doing it like on a whole long passage. You can just do it on a sentence, for example, um, you know, because maybe there's a particular sentence that, that you want uh, to use um, in your text and, you know, you're not sure how to change it. So there you go. You see how Avid Notes changed the entire um, passage for us and paraphrased. It, OK. You know the whole purpose really of doing a literature review right is to is to find you know gaps in the literature right so that you can also suggest uh, what should be done maybe you know contribute to knowledge and so on right so we could also use this text right to get avid notes to identify a research gap for us right and the cool thing is that doesn't give you one it gives you seven right? That's quite a lot. And again, you know, please don't just take them and assume that, yes, these are the definite research gaps because they probably aren't, right? But they give you an amazing starting point. And if you've been stuck with the research gap, as a lot of PhD students are for, you know, months, this can give you an awesome starting point. And then, you know, you take this and you further confirm it with other studies um, by reading more. But again, it, it's an awesome starting point. It's something that would have taken you, you know, hours, if not days to do. Now you can do in a couple of seconds, right? So this is very, very impressive, right? Another really important thing that uh, that it can do for you is to suggest future research direction, okay? So again, you're writing a review paper and maybe at the end of that paper, you want to suggest kind of what should be done next, right? So you could Paste the text here that you're writing about and it will give you suggestions for future research. This is also really good if you're looking for a research gap because, um, you know, you, you take a text and you ask Avid Notes, well, hey, w what else should be done on this topic? What Essentially, you're asking Avid Note, what can I do on this topic? And Avid Notes provides you with suggestions. Again, please don't take them at face, face value and just like, copy and paste them to your research. You want to confirm them, you want to dig in deeper into them, but again, it's a fantastic springboard. Something that might have taken you days to come up with all these suggestions for future research, because it's not, it's not that easy to come up with them, right? You really have to, you know, think in depth about the text that you're reading. Now you get this in really in just 10 seconds. So 
I think this, you know, AI tool will really speed up the way you do the literature review. It helps you to organize your literature review, helps you to annotate text, helps you to, you know, add notes to, to text, makes everything searchable. You've got tags so you can keep yourself organized. You know, what I like about this is that everything is in one place. You don't have to switch between 10 different tools to do this. You can just keep everything um, in here, which I think is really, really uh, helpful. And it's got this amazing AI feature in here with um, really well-written prompts designed specifically for research. And as you've seen, they can really cut down the time that it takes you to do a really good literature review. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like personalized help to write a really good literature review for your PhD thesis or maybe publish a scoping review, a systematic review, a meta-analysis, then definitely get in touch with us and book a free one-to-one -one consultation. The link is right below this video. We're going to identify what your biggest challenges are when it comes to doing a literature review. Also, look at your goals and see if and how we might be able to help you. And the link to book that free one-to-one -one consult is right below this video.